Hey, my name's Trent Harris. I work with Master Medical Equipment. I'm the clinical sales manager here at Master Medical. And I'm Mark Walker, one of the principal owners of Guardian Group Training, one of the preferred partners with Master Medical. Today we're going to talk to you about the Sapphire Infusion Pump. The pump itself, it's a touch screen. The screen is a pressure sensitive. Um, it's not a heat sensitive screen, so you know, it's not like our, our cell phones where it's feeling the heat from our fingers. It's actually a pressure screen. And how else was that in the EMS field too, when you're operating these things in the rain and- With gloves on. And then the humidity with, you know, even if you've got, uh, you know, bloods or, or gosh, in the COVID days, you know, hand sanitizer. That's right. You know, things like that really makes for great operation. Kind of hit on the specs there a little bit, but let's talk about some of the stuff that's that's real to the to our end user, right? So the, to the EMS medic that's gonna be out there uh, on the street that's gonna be using that. Why is this gonna be such a great um, tool for them? And I, I tell you a couple of reasons. One, we've already hit on the fact that it's pretty much all weather. I mean, right, it's, it's splash resistant, right? We've got that pressure sensitive screen. But I mean, what about the fact that it's got a flow rate from like 0 0.1 milliliters to 999? I right. mean, where else are you gonna find that kind of range and the, the, uh, the temperature range that it can operate in? As far as the storage temperature, operating temperature, we get that question from time to time. The operating temp is from 41 to 104 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and storage is from negative 41 to 158 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So there's a pretty good range there, depending on where you're at in the country. Um, you know, as far as operation and storing the pump. Uh, so that's a pretty great option for that as well. Plus the fact it's portability. I mean, come on. What else are you going to carry around in your in your cargo pants? Scrub pants, cargo okay. pocket. It's awesome, man. 40 different clinical care areas within the pump itself, and each one of them can hold like, what, a thousand mm -hmm. medications? So you can put any formulary of any med, the concentration, whatever you could possibly use, uh, you know, within your med set, and just literally with the touch of the button, you know, you can pull up that med for easy administration. Mm -hmm. One of the things, uh, you know, that the high points of the Sapphire pump is the uh, accuracy of the pump is plus or minus 2.5%. Uh, with the industry standard being plus or minus 5%, that was uh, a huge thing uh, to me when I you know, heard that it was how accurate the pump was. So this is the box uh, you will get with a new pump. And we're just gonna go through it here and highlight some of the, the features on it. These pumps are made over in Israel. Um, by the manufacturer is Eton Medical, and that is a great uh, group to work with. So inside the box, you've got the pump itself, a cradle for securing the device, and a charging cord. Uh, the pump itself, on the face of the pump, there's only two buttons. Uh, if you look at it, there's a stop button which stops an infusion immediately, and then the on-off button which powers the device on and off. There are three um, indicator lights. Uh, the the top, top light is just an alarm. Uh, anytime there's an alarm during uh, an infusion, you will hear an audible um, alarm from the speaker and then this light will flash, uh, flash red. Uh, the next light is just a charge indicator that it indicates when the unit is charging. And then the bottom light is just a run. Uh, it will flash green during an infusion. They do have proprietary drip sets like most pumps. It's just a cartridge uh, that snaps into the side here. Um, and then this door. Uh, a lot of folks ask me, hey, what if that door gets knocked off? Whatever infusion is running will not stop. However, you do have to have this door in place to start a new infusion. So if for some reason this door gets sheared off uh, mid-infusion, uh, you don't have to worry about uh, your patient care at that time, but you will have to get it uh, repaired or replaced uh, prior to starting a new infusion. This cradle, uh, it's pretty simple. It's, um, it's just a plastic cradle snaps into place. It is spring loaded, so you can uh, have different mounting, mounting options if you need to hang it on an IV pole or the arm of a stretcher, whatever the case may be. This pump is the only um, pump on the market as far as a new pump that is rated for ground and air transport. Um, which, which is 
a huge thing today. Yeah, and it, it's really important too, knowing that this is uh, not only a single channel pump, but it's also a multi-therapy pump, right? So you can run TPN, PCA, uh, it's got a PCA box, lock box that, that you can get as well, it's an option. You run piggybacks through it, I mean epidurals, I mean the sky's really the limit when it comes to this thing, and the portability of it allows for multiple pumps to be placed together. So there's optional mounts where you can put, what, up to three pumps side to side. Um, Correct. Yeah, Fernal Aviation makes um, triple mount for the, the air medical world. That uh, it hold, They've got a single, a double, and a triple mounted pump option. Well, folks, um, I don't know much else we can say about this pump. Yeah, I think you can tell from the video we really like it and we're a fan of it here at Master Medical Equipment and Guardian Group. Uh, Mark, I'd like to thank you for uh, being on the show today and coming out and seeing us and talking a little bit about the pump. Uh, Trent, I appreciate the invite and it's, uh, it's all I can tell you guys, it's just uh, it's a wonderful device. I think it's going to change EMS as a whole mm -hmm. and uh, we look forward to be able to talk with you more about it in person or uh, online. Hey, if you like what you saw today, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.